Hello everybody, Message for a Death in. I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for helping me reach 1k subscribers. The likes, the comments, the support from you all have been absolutely huge and it really means a lot to me. YouTube has always been something I've wanted to do and a big ambition of mine. And video games have always been there throughout my life to help me get through the most difficult times, whether it's distracting me from my problems, helping me get through my depression amongst other things. It's something that I've always wanted to share with other people. I've always wanted to entertain people, help distract them from their problems, maybe brighten their day through the tough times, through my uploads, again, there's something to look forward to with the games I play, and help take their mind off the daily stresses of day-to-day -day life. And I cannot thank you all enough for helping me get to this point. 1K subscribers is a huge monumental goal that has took me a very long time to reach. I started this channel back in 2012, and back then I would occasionally upload the odd clips here and there for fun. I didn't get serious till around 2014, and I used to upload a lot of Pokemon Showdown and Pokemon games to my channel back then. But they never really got any views, YouTube didn't push my content out there. And then the whole copper act appeared on YouTube to do with advertising for kids, and YouTube got in big trouble. It was going after certain content creators who were doing kid-friendly content and all that. And because I did Pokemon content, Pokemon is widely enjoyed by kids. I was worried my videos would be hit with a strike or something, so I deleted them all back then. But back then I was getting, like, no views. I was lucky if I was getting maybe 10 or so. So, I ended up taking many breaks and it was really disheartening. But I didn't, like, stop me. I ended up coming back in about 2016 when Skyrim Remastered came out and the first episode hit around 1 to 2k views in a matter of days and it was crazy to me so I'd never gotten more than like 10 or so back then, if I was lucky. I ended up getting around 100 subs from it, but disaster struck and my PC broke and I couldn't monetarily afford to replace the parts. It was an expensive gaming PC at the time and I was without a PC for like... Five plus years I could do gameplay and games about the cult quality for being trash or an old game from a long time ago as financially I wasn't enough to change those circumstances and because I hadn't uploaded for years all those subscribers eventually left due to my channel essentially being dead. This really was a huge blow to me because as I said YouTube has always been a dream of mine and it wasn't until about two years ago that I finally got a PC on finance. Uh, but I was dealing with a lot of depression at the time, so I didn't upload for like the first half of the year. And then one of my best friends tried to kill me. Thankfully I managed to get away and I'm still here today, but that was a huge wake up call for me. And caused a shift to the point where I said, you know what, no more. I'm not letting my depression keep me down, I'm not letting my mental state keep me from pursuing my dream. I ended up getting really serious, and I started doing Digimon Super Rumble content after playing it. Because it was in Korean at the time and I wanted to make guides on the game to help others like me who don't speak or read Korean get to enjoy that game because in my mind at the time it was a gem of a game. Despite only being in Korea it was an amazing game at the time and my work ended up paying off. Through helping people and interacting with people I got 200 subs in about 2022. Then 2023 I got a 311. But coming into 2024, I was so inspired and looking forward to pushing ahead, and then disaster unfortunately struck. Shortly after making my Should You Play Digimon Super Rumble video in 2024, a huge anti-consumer update happened for the game. They screwed over a lot of the player base. They were getting incredibly greedy. They made the game much less free-to-play friendly and more pay-to-play friendly, which barely affected things at all, even if you did pay to play. And it required so much more time investment, which was crazy at the time, because I was already playing for like 6 to 8 hours a day. Some of my streams even went to 10 to 12 hours, and now they wanted even more? Like, it was absolutely ridiculous. It really ended up turning into a huge blow for me, and I just couldn't sit by and support that anymore. I couldn't accept how they'd ruined the game like that. They basically pulled the same rubbish they did to DMO. As that too used to be an amazing game, whether you was pay to play or free to play you could enjoy it, but now you're practically required to go pay to play in DMO. And they got incredibly greedy as hell with microtransactions and loot, box, loot boxes galore. And with Game King taking over it got even worse, there was hacking and all sorts going on. 
And now, Digimon Super Rumble's kind of done the same thing with the greedy route, because it's by the same company who made DMO in the first place. So, the game I'd got all this success on for my YouTube channel was basically gone now, with that, so many viewers and subscribers who subscribed for that content, but I just couldn't continue to support it after that. I basically hate greedy companies who just keep forcing their hands into your wallet, telling you to pay them and you can't enjoy yourself anymore. Like, so many are turning to doing so in today's gaming market, and I outright refuse to support those kinds of games before you had the option to spend in Digimon Super Rumble, and now they pretty much demand it, and I just can't do that. I can't keep supporting the game with them doing that, and I can't sit here and tell people that game is a great game anymore. It may just be my opinion and everybody is different, but I refuse to lie to my subscribers and fans and I just won't do it. So, I had to change things up, basically. However, because my channel was built around that game, my views tanked, my subscriptions tanked. So it was a heavy blow, but I wasn't going to sit there and just keep doing a game that I don't believe supporting anymore. It basically took me around half a year just to get 100 subscribers this year and honestly it was just kind of crazy because then suddenly like this past month we went up 300 subs and was able to hit 1k which was monumental. I never had that before so thank you all so much that really meant a lot to me. Despite it being a heavy blow, I wasn't giving up, and here we are now at 1k, and I couldn't have done it all without your support, I really couldn't have. Seeing the kind comments, hearing you enjoyed the video, seeing the same people coming back, it was a big game changer, and I just want to thank you all so much. I hope from here on, I can continue to entertain you, keep you guys happy, and I'm gonna keep pushing forward and pursuing my dream, and I hope you all continue along the ride with me. I've been paying a lot of attention this year, seeing how things have gone with videos and the changes and the video types I've been uploading, and seeing what kind of content seems to get garner the most attention from you all. So, at the start of September, as a thank you, I plan to make some changes to my channel. I noticed my most popular content, by far, has been my Pokemon videos, which are revolving currently around Pokemon Stadium. And it's clear to me that Pokemon and Digimon based content is what the majority of you all prefer, and I want to therefore change my plans around how my channel operates from this point forward, sometime around the start of September, so I can deliver the content that you guys actually enjoy. So. At the start of September, these changes will start to happen with my channel. Pokemon Stadium will be changed to a daily upload instead of Monday, Wednesday and Friday, like it has been previously. Skyrim will instead become a Monday, Wednesday and Friday series. Fallout London will become a Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday series. Dragon Ball Z will continue as a Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday series until it is completed. And then I will move on to bringing Digimon back to the channel. However, that's not all. I am also going to start streaming again. I used to do a lot of streaming back in Digimon Super Rumble and I loved interacting with you guys, being able to talk to you while playing the game, grinding for hours. It was honestly a lot of fun. And I recently, after hitting 1k, started doing Pokemon MMO. Which is an MMO version of Pokemon which basically has up to the Unova region currently and is very true to the original Pokemon games and allows you to go through each region. And on top of that, you can choose what region you want to start off in. However, I've gone with the base set of starting off with Kanto, then I plan to go through Johto, Hoenn, then Sinnoh, then Unova. That's my plan that I plan to do with that, and that will be streamed on a Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, potentially. I'm not 100% on that, because I'm still working out scheduling. But I plan to have it Wednesday, Saturday, and Sundays so that I'll be streaming that game. So, you get more Pokemon content this way. And, on top of that, I still have worms going on Sundays at the moment. That'll be a Sunday upload. I don't know what will replace that when I eventually beat that, but that's months down the line. Plenty of time to work that out and record a full game to upload on Sundays. There'll be a retro game from the past and stuff like that. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, I'm still in the middle of the Dragon Arena when I eventually beat the 99 opponent. I'll be moving on from that game and we'll be switching on to Digimon, so look forward to that. I'm also looking forward to Digimon Masters Remastered. DMO Remastered is coming out at some point. There's no official release date, but it is something I will be streaming when it comes out. 
And I'll be giving it a go. I'm not going to stick to it because I know it's just going to go down the same route that original DML did. But I will give it a go, let people see it in case other people are interested because everybody has different opinions. Some people can deal with the amount of ridiculousness that comes with pay to win stuff. I just can't. I don't get much money and I refuse to pay for something I refuse to support and I refuse to tell subscribers and fans that, oh, this is a great game when I don't think a game is a great game. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to lie to you guys because at the end of the day, I couldn't do this without you. You're a very pivotal part of this channel. And I'm going to be honest and sincere with you. There's not going to be no stupid um, advertisements from game companies. I refuse to do Raid Shadow Legends and all that garbage, which is just paid to win, loot box, ridiculousness. I will not do those kind of games to you guys and lie to you in my advertisement saying, Oh yeah, this is a great game, and not tell you about the actual pitfalls of the game itself. I will not let advertising companies ever sponsor me and get me to do that kind of stuff. Because so many YouTubers start nowadays and do that. And I, I just, I, I simply refuse to do it. I'm against doing it. I want to be upfront and honest with my subscribers. Because at the end of the day, without you guys, my channel won't ever get anywhere. And I want to make you happy. I want to keep you guys entertained. That's the, the whole reason why I got into doing YouTube and why it's a dream of mine. It's what I want to do. And I hope... Going forward, you'll stick with me and you'll enjoy the content that I put out there. Please feel free to comment any suggestions you have when watching my videos. Feel free to suggest stuff. There was somebody recently who made a suggestion of seeing my original Gen 1 team from Red, Blue, Yellow when I was a kid. Going up against the Gym Leader Castle in the Elite Four. And I've recorded that content and it's going to be coming some point next month when we actually get caught up. I'm always happy to hear suggestions and thoughts from people because in the, the day, I like the feedback, even if it's negative feedback. I want to hear that feedback because the only way I can grow is by hearing from you guys. With that said, I feel like I've rambled on long enough from here and I'm going to remind you of the changes that will be starting at the start of September. Pokemon Stadium will become a daily upload. Skyrim will be Monday, Wednesday and Friday series. Fallout London will be a Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday series. Dragon Ball Z will continue as a Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday series and eventually be replaced by Digimon. A bulky MMO potentially will be streamed on a Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday if I can make it and I'm available on those times and I've got the free time to do so. With that said, thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace. Thank you so much for your support guys and helping me at 1k. It was absolutely huge, and I hope I continue to please you from here on out. The heated action continues. What's next? A light pass. Vicious attack. It appears to be impervious to damage. A hot battle is unfolding. What will it do? A light hit. Whoa, that was close. Swing attack. A powerful blow. Oh, which collapse. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokémon. The Pokémon emerges from its Pokéball. The foe is weak. Now is the time to attack. Sparks are flying from both competitors. A blast of ice beam. Yes, it's a hit. Oh, and down it goes. So, what will be the next Pokémon? The next Pokémon is ready. Oh, it's Espeon! This has become a clash between different Pokémon types. A Psychic Blast! That's a hit!
Action continues. The Pokemon is returning to its Pokeball. The Pokemon appears with a cross. What now? Ah, that didn't do much. It restored HP with some leftovers. How will this newly switched out Pokemon fare? What'll it do? Ah! That attack just bounced off! What's this? A light hit! They're both hanging tough! They're ready to go. If you steal me. Yes, it's a hit. Oh, it collapsed. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. This Pokemon is back for another go. It's a fierce battle. A furious attack! Right, that's a hit! Yes, it's going down! We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokémon! Oh, it's Alakazam! The number of remaining Pokémon is 3 to 2! How's that? A sharp attack! A powerful blow! A hot battle is unfolding! They go into battle pose! There's the attack! Ah, that didn't do much! Oh, special defense is down! There's the shot! That hurt! Perfect! Just one Pokémon remains. The Pokémon appears with a cross. This is the last Pokémon. The heated action continues. The finishing blow? Win! The last Pokémon goes down. And there goes the battle! Yeah. 